Well, in many respects, he's a promoter's dream. Kevin Trailblazer Holland sometimes flaps the gums a little bit and maybe says some things that the UFC doesn't like, but this guy is a soldier, a promotional workhorse, always answers the bell, and not just answers the bell, but always shows up in fine fettle, always in good shape, always ready to perform. His strength of schedule rivals any fighter in the UFC's middleweight or light heavyweight division. And if Kevin Holland can fight on instinct, stay true to himself, not play his opponent's game, the guy could be a world champion one day. Easier said than done. Kevin Holland, as usual, ready to battle as he tries to take home the title. So the path to UFC middleweight gold and glory continues to go through this man. And without speaking hyperbolically, I do believe this man looks like he could reign for some time. You know, when you think about middleweight, you think about some great champions, Anderson Silva and Israel Adesanya. This man can be viewed in the same regard because he has ruled the top of the division for a really long time. He's ruled it with an iron fist. He is just so good in this role. He is everything you want in the UFC champion. And he's fighting in his natural weight class. A lot of people wondered aloud if maybe he could become a two division champion, go down to 70. He don't want to hear that noise. He's looking to pluck off another middleweight title challenger in yet another big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee, ladies and gentlemen, Bruce effing Lee. Ready to go and so are we for our main event. Our tale of the tape for this middleweight championship fight. All right, now to get us started, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Kevin the Trailblazer Holland. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world, Bruce. The Dragon Lee! One of the best in the business, Great Herb fight. Dean, is our referee Great. tonight. All right, so here he is, the UFC champion, and this guy is all the rage. Right now, he might be the front runner for the fighter of the year, given the fact that he was able to knock out the number one contender in his last title defense, and to do so so emphatically in a fight that a lot of people thought was close on paper is really something that could take his career to the next level. Trying to follow that up here tonight. Most guys have succumbed to his power. We'll see if that holds true yet again tonight. All right, early round one, we'll see if he can use that jab and try to keep his opponent on the outside. Must be nice for these long fighters, huh? I mean, they are able to touch you as you try to enter into range. Tonight, he needs to use his jab, use his kicks to hit his opponent before his opponent can get into range to even start to think about striking. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. And everything's landing with so much power. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Lee. Oh, punches in bunches as he lands another combination there. Really doing a nice job stringing his shots. Together. He's doing a great job of stringing the shots together and also just mixing up the target and the attacks. Great job finding different places for his strikes to land. All right, 
So we'll see what sort of defensive response ensues here. He's taken a lot of shots upstairs, and the swelling is there to prove it. Got to keep those hands up. Might want to employ a high golf. Looked like he did stun him a little bit. And back to his feet. Nice defense there. Huge block. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Oh, lands a beautiful jab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice jab. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see if he can finish. Trying to recover, but he's in a lot of trouble. Oh, just misses with the kick. Beautiful combination by the champion there. Holland's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. Well, he continues to stay busy and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Both guys appeared to land there. Holland gets absolutely punished by that head kick. Nice job on defense to block that punch, champ. Well, you know he's tougher than I am, right? But this man has absorbed so much damage upstairs that I wouldn't be surprised to see the referee call him the doctor. At some point, you got to take a look at him. He's so bruised. He's so battered. He's so swollen. And credit to his opponent for finding a route to victory and staying on that. He has dominated this fight. Shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Well, you really hope that damage like this doesn't stay with him throughout his mixed martial arts career, but I'd be okay with not seeing him take another head strike at this point. No, it's over. You can... oh! That's it! Oh, I'll do it! Oh, my God! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Representing Liverpool, England also has some roots in Brazil. Here is Darren Till looking to preserve his spot as welterweight contender here tonight. Darren Till is a phenomenal fighter, a guy that's willing to fight anybody. The interview where he's in the octagon, he says, just line them up, I'll fight them all. Yeah. I will fight each and every one of them. Darren Till has that quality about him that just draws you in. But what ultimately gets you in the door is the fighting ability, the great boxing, the great fight IQ, the mentality that allowed him to beat guys like Donald Cerrone and Steven Wonderboy Thompson. He's got a welterweight hit list a mile long. You should be glad you're not on it. No, I don't want to get on that list. <laughs> I don't want to see the gorilla. So the latest title defense arrives here and now for the UFC's undisputed middleweight champion. And prevailing wisdom is it's going to take a huge effort out of the challenger tonight to dethrone this dominant king. Absolutely. You do not beat this guy without being on your A game. And not even just your A game is going to get it done. You have got to overachieve in order to beat this guy. This guy is firmly entrenched as the best in the world. When you look at him, you know he's the best from the way he carries himself to the confidence to the skill set. He's the champ, and he doesn't intend for that to change. 
Seemed as though it was maybe a difficult weight cut or more difficult than once prior, but he didn't want to hear any of that noise in advance of this latest middleweight championship title defense. Bruce Lee. And that means we are set for our main event of the evening. Or tell the tape for this middleweight championship fight. Here once more, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> The challenger, Darren the Gorilla Till. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, the reigning, defending UFC middleweight champion, Bruce the Dragon. Herb Dean is your referee. He's the third man in the octagon tonight. All right, so here he is, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC champion out of the red corner. Many of you remember his title defense not all that long ago. He won it by knockout. And most of the guys, the number one contender types who have risen to a title shot, have succumbed to his power. They think they know what it feels like, and then all of a sudden they get in the octagon, and they just can't take the pop. So we'll see how he handles this particular challenge here tonight. Certainly an outstanding grappler who could pose some different challenges if we hit the canvas. He told us his game plan is to avoid the mat at all costs. land on the target. Great job. His misses are entertaining. Oh, good block there. Those are the body kicks that'll crumble you. Oh, man, another massive kick lands. Oh, this place is going nuts. We got a brawl on our hands, folks. The fans are out of their seat. These guys are getting after it. Oh, that's big. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. Beautifully landed by the opposition. There's the kick. It's blocked. Oh, how good was that combo? He is really doing a nice job stringing his shots together now. Till's forehead is bleeding now. Cut just opened up. Oh, knee strike right to the midsection there. Oh! Oh, and a switch kick to the body for good measure. Nice work there by Darren Till. So once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. Lee gets caught by that straight hand. When he gets close, he throws, he lands. Just over three minutes to go now. Working off the jab, it's good. strike to the body again making great use of his length in this matchup oh he lands another strike to the body really starts oh a huge strike lands there dc he landed that massive nice. shot now he needs to try to find the next shot the follow-up shot that will finish the fight there's that left hand So now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan and it's working. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. Oh, that'll snap your head back. Beautiful combination. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kick. Oh, covering up over the top. This fight's going to be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He did stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. 
90 seconds to go in round one. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. His opponent recovered. Now he's got to just deal with everything that he's going to bring at him. He should have got the fight finished at that time. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is... How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. That's what I'm talking about. Keep going again. Go again. Big shot lands for both guys. Lee's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. It's a nice jab by him there. 30 seconds to go here. Oh, nice job to get the guard up there as the strike is blocked by Lee. He clipped him with the right hand there. 15 seconds to go. Oh, roundhouse kick. Add that to his highlight reel. Till's cut is only getting worse, making a nice donation to the canvas tonight. All right, there's the end of the round, and hopefully not the end of the fight. He doesn't look as handsome as he did when he walked out. That is a severe gash on his face. All right, let us get you some replays from the damage in that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the shot that opened the cup. I mean, just some big shots landed over the course of that round. And he wasn't responsible defensively. He was trying to tough out way too many situations. You can't do that when you're fighting a guy like this. If he doesn't change something. Ready to fight. Ready. Still All right, ready. round two. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Lee gets hit with that hook shot there. He's got to be careful to not allow the offense to follow up here. And another one. Nice body kick there. Throws a big right hand but doesn't find its home. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of the bargain. I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level that we have not seen him fight before. This is shades of Colby Covington, Max Holloway, those guys that can fight all night. He is showing you that he has done the work in the training room, and it's on full display tonight. Nice crack there. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expect a huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Nice leg kick. Oh, brutal knee to the body. Huge left hand. for the champion. Oh! What a fight. Both of these guys are trying to finish. Oh! Oh, nice body shot. Oh, and kick there is in hands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Till's eye is absolutely disgusting. That thing's going to be shut for a couple of weeks, and, uh... Maybe it's time for the referee to call on the ringside physician. We'll see if that comes here shortly. Well, no denying the durability on the other side, but at this point, you just got to find that kill shot and get him out of there. A lot of times that comes with reps. That comes with taking your time. You get excited, and you want to finish because you think it's right there, but at times you just overswing and you miss a lot. He needs to slow down if he wants to get his opponent out of this fight.
Oh, the damage just continues to be inflicted. And with respect to the athletes, if this was a movie, I might just walk out. I don't need to see anymore. I mean, I just don't need to see it. It's, it's to a point now where it's getting a bit uncomfortable. You have a fighter who's clearly outmatched, and his corner will not save him. This is crazy. Huge kick right there. Don't want to take too many more of those. Under two minutes to go in round two. All right, well, that blow is fauceting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. Back and forth we go. It takes two to tango, and man, have these two individuals tango tonight. I'd like to run it back at some point, no matter how this one ends. It's one of those fights where when you look at these two, in the damage... Now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on beat streak. He hurt so bad. I don't know what he's going to do to stay in this fight. That is it! Oh, my goodness! What a result in Rio, a stunner! Holy smokes!